but you could also go to a Matil, whose murder, a teenager whose murder uh, sparked the U uh, uh, U.S. civil rights movement. And as you said, Dr. King is a giant. He has been the conscience. But he was standing on the shoulders of people like, um, like Frederick Douglass. He was standing on the shoulders of people. One of my favorites is uh, Ida B. Wells, a woman journalist who is, was just amazing. There were other amazing women freedom fighters. So this is a long journey. The baton now has been handed over to uh, today's generation of black people. And hopefully, we will see a few non-blacks also. Because what black people are fighting, they are not saying give freedom to only blacks. They are saying treat everybody equally. Treat everybody equally. Democracy is freedom, and it's freedom for everyone. Everyone needs to enjoy that. What about uh, the queen of the Underground Railway? Was it Harry yes. Subman? Yes. You, you know, as you said, I'm BBC, so my recollection doesn't come quickly. Absolutely, Harriet Tubman, who is now, you know, her image on the 20 American $20 bill has been delayed. President Obama authorized it, but it's been slowed down. We can't wait because, you know, you watch American uh, uh, popular music and they talk about the Benjamin. We want to see Harriet Tubman on the $20 bill, so we will call the $20 bill the Tubmans. There is a long history. Let me say again, I mean, uh, uh, most of them actually are not known to history, but uh, black people in the United States, to my mind, I cannot think of a group of people anywhere who have been more heroic. They come to a strange continent. And as an African who, who came here, I know how it felt to be uh, in this strange country. And I keep thinking, think about those who came more than 300 years earlier, how they felt. And I got here as a free man. They were not. They were in chains. They, they were branded like cattle. OK, the people use hot iron to brand S on their skin. I mean, I think what Africans and black people have done in the United States is so amazing. I once told someone what black people need more than anything else are amazing storytellers, because the story of black people in the Western Hemisphere, you can look at Haiti, you can look at Brazil, you can look at Jamaica. But even if you focus just on the United States, I don't know of any group of people anywhere who has had such an amazing journey against great odds, and they are still going. To tell you the truth, they humble me, they, make, they inspire me, they humble me, they make me so proud that I share some roots with them. And he tells me what they have did means we can do a lot. So of course, African uh, in this country now, we have enormous solidarity with what is going on. As a matter of fact, since George Floyd, a few other people have been killed. One of them is a Gambian, somebody born in Gambia. So I have told the African community here, we are joined at the hips with African Americans. Moreover, I have two adult children. Their mother is African American. So they have, th this is our fight. And I'm, just to say, African Americans, are so heroic, I don't even know how to find the words to say it.